my name is Chico and if you're joining me on replay thanks for joining and if anything that I say throughout the video resonates with you feel free to leave a comment and also to press hearts or like whichever option is available so um, what I was going to discuss today is more along the lines of um, entrepreneurship and um, I've been receiving quite a few questions from people, mainly younger entrepreneurs or people who have gone into like the professional field and now they're looking to apply what they've learned either through um, university or through like their studies and also through their work environment. So today um, I wanted to connect with you, especially if you are looking for to start up your own business or you're looking to change your um, lifestyle somehow and my main key I thought today rather than just talking about um, let me see like my circumstance that it will also be good to um, share some giveaways okay so some of like my giveaways I'll start off with and what I've learned um, over the past year as the first takeaway is on gratitude that um, gratitude is quite worthwhile to do it like on a daily basis so what i tend to do and i learned from like an inspirational coach um, who's a, a motivator uh, in terms of people who are trying to change their relationships or who are trying to um, overcome certain challenges in their life um, such as also changing like the um, the direction of like their career to do something more purposeful in life um, to impact a lot more people. So one of the th one of his practices as well is um, on gratitude. So what I tend to do in the morning is just to be thankful and um, consider rather than saying I need, I need, I want, I want. I'm trying to not say that too much because sometimes we can say things easily as we want, we need. So what I'm trying to do nowadays more often is to appreciate what I've already got, what's already in existence. And in that way, um, it makes me look at life in a different way. It makes me appreciate things as well as people, um, the environment, and also puts me in a place not to um, take life for granted. Um, so that's one of my key um, takeaways, that if it's something that you yourself are looking for, um, it might be something that will be of, va of value to you as you're going through your journey. Um, other people practice like different ways. Um, so pe other people meditate uh, or I do, um, exercises such as just taking the moment to breathe in breathe out and sometimes also to um, meditate to reflect on um, what's happening to me currently and my journey so that I don't live with like um, any regrets so I'm trying to embed that practice so that it becomes like the norm um, the, um, it becomes something that's like my daily practice and then going on into my next one as well, if you, this will all link up. So if you're looking to start a business, it's always good to start off at a place of first, first of all, understanding your purpose in life and your reason why. Yeah, so looking at, I may have also mentioned in my previous videos. So your why is what motivates you every day to get up, you know, whichever environment you're in, to get up and do something. So whether it be work or whether it be something that you're doing outside of work that's of a creative nature, what motivates you? What's connecting you to that? So by doing that, hopefully that's giving you a purpose. But if it's not giving you a purpose or if it's not giving you any meaning of your existence and you're still searching for something tangible, um, it's always a good place to start to define what is your reason why. So like a bigger purpose, you know, a, a higher purpose than you. So what I tend to do is connect it more to like people and some people um, like myself spiritually is also appreciating that I have a greater purpose in life and that's to connect with people like on a, on a higher level, meaning that 
if there's anybody out there who needs um, any help then I'm willing to extend like my support to them so if you define what your reason why is and your purpose in life then that's also going to be a motivating factor to find out what you realistically want to do business wise because with in terms of business it's helpful especially if you want to have like a growth mindset so by growth mindset i mean that you want something that's of longevity so you're always thinking like of growing as an individual and also growing your business so something that's more sustainable yeah so thinking about your reason and your purpose why will be the vehicle that will drive your business to impact to have a meaning um, and also it's beneficial to have something that connects to solving people's problems or people's issues then you're more likely to um, be successful in that area so i hope it, it's um it's making sense if not, feel free to um, ask me any questions. Then the third one that I've um, written down, I have cheat sheet notes today and <laughs> so that I, I stay on track. So the other one that I've written down is um, acceptance and knowledge. So accepting that the skills you have now, they are sufficient in a way that um, if you've started through school, you've gone through education up to like college level, university, um, PhD, or you might have just learned um, street smarts. If you've gone up to adulthood, you've learned key skills. Yeah, so the information that you have right now, it's coming to accept that it's valuable, that you're skilled and that you have like a specialist. So it's about like owning it. Because what tends to happen is that we become um, learners so um, I even experienced it myself where I used to go to like seminars this is after I've gone through like all my um, college education which is like university and I always used to think oh I need to keep learning and learning and learning more and even like in my professional life so you can continue to be doing that or you can start to entrepreneurship is a journey about learning as you go along so when you start to verge on entrepreneurship or starting your business it's if you go to a seminar there are people who are collectors so they see a shiny object and they think wow that's something that's nice and um, then they grab onto that they're inspired by it then they go to like another seminar and they're like wow okay that's nice as well but it's like they never complete the first or the tenth <laughs> thing that they've actually um, learned from. So they collect the information and then they store it on their shelves or in their archives. Then it becomes information nowadays is like so, far, um, so fast paced because of how we're connected, the internet, everything is so easily accessible and it's become like more competitive. So as you learn, the best um, recommendation I would give you, like if you want to progress on like in terms of like um, setting up your business or the world of entrepreneurship is to embed those skills. So even if you're failing, it's fine. So to embed those skills um, as you go along, to trial it out. So it may be something that at first, it may be difficult to understand but then practice makes perfect. You try and try until you succeed. So where I was going back to your um, knowledge is sufficient is to feel confident in that, that there might be at least one person on this earth who would value your information. Yeah, they would take it on board. So I think sometimes we also take for granted what we know and we think that we need to be um, very specialized uh, in a specific field before we can actually contribute. So in most cases nowadays, that's not, that's not the case. Um, it's of the understanding that if you're shown to try and to be implementing it, then you're giving things a go rather than just like talking about it, like you're dreaming about it but then it actually never happens. 
um so i'm gonna move on to like my fourth takeaway for today that one is more about um visualization and writing down your goals so by visualization is we tend to dream of um what we would like to become what we would like to do in life but then what tends to happen is that um, some of us the dreams are embedded in here and then we have excuses we think of oh i can't do it because i um I, i'm fearful or i don't have the money or such and such a reason um i don't have the time but if you take a time uh, if you take the moment and sacrifice an hour or two just to sit down and write down what you're visualizing for your future and also being like realistic so the types of exercises i've undertaken is i already know the type of um, lifestyle that i want to do i already know uh, the lifestyle that i would like to obtain so um i also know what impact i want to have in terms of like my ideal um customer because i've written it down so that's something that i'm working towards and along the way i'm meeting people and i also have visualized where ideally i see myself so it can be things like okay so if you're thinking about buying a house write that goal down and also visualize what does a house look like where is it located how much does it cost then if you want to buy a car it's also what color does it what color is it for me a car if it's got four wheels and can go from a to b <laughs> that's sufficient for me <laughs> um i'm not that fussy so yes so if you're dreaming of your dream car um what make is it and where are you going to obtain it so to start to do research and just build up that list also where do you want to live ideally is it near family or do you want to go and live on some exotic island and then start to go and search it online um, there's so many resources to look at how much it's going to cost then breaking it down even further um, what, how much is your lifestyle going to cost you ideally yeah is it going to stay the same but oh, as you progress is it going to cost more when you're thinking about the future and what your ideal um, lifestyle could be so after you've done that exercise breaking each and everything down um, into small and realistic goals it's thinking about okay what is the total budget and then linking that to your business so your business then will become something that will also be where you can link it to say is my dream lifestyle realistic will my business have um, sufficient financial resources and if it doesn't then how can you grow your business so that it may